What's happening everyone, Max Forte with another top seasonal video. This is one of the ones that you guys request the most. This is going to be my top 10 winter designer 2019. These are going to be fragrances that I'll be looking forward to wearing the most this upcoming winter season 2019. So stick around, they're coming up next. Welcome back to another fragrance video. This is Max Forte. Today, my top 10 winter 2019. If you guys like to smell great, you love to make a great first impression, definitely consider subscribing for a lot more. Hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, turn on your notification bell icon. That way you'll get fragrance news, everything and anything fragrance related straight into your feed. Without any further ado, guys, let's hop right into my top choices. This is my 10th spot here, Valentino Womo Noir Absolute. This stuff is unbelievably good. It's going to be resins, incense, spices. You have a blast of cinnamon here. This is dark. It's really resinous. It's a great scent for the winter, great for winter evenings. This is one that I'm going to be looking to wear mostly for evening wear, going out, you know, dining out. Great one. It just smells fantastic. If you like Valentino Intense, definitely consider checking this one out. It takes it to the next level with incense, creamy sandalwood, and amazing spices here. It lasts all evening. It's one that you can definitely look to wear if you want something that's going to be long lasting. Valentino Womo Noir Absolute at the 10th spot. At the ninth spot, we have a fragrance that is for the person that's really starting to getting into oud. I love this one because it's really easy and very mass appealing to wear. So I'm not really big on oud, so it has to be really nicely blended for me to appreciate. This takes the original Ugo Boss bottled uh, DNA or scent profile and adds this really nice fruity oud character and nuance to the fragrance, making a stellar compliment galore type of scent. One that really works with my skin, my body chemistry. Uh, the projection is not the best. You're gonna, it projects really nice for like an hour, two hours, but the longevity is actually pretty good on this one. I get eight plus hours. Uh, I do spray my clothes, so it does last quite a bit for me. And it's one that, again, I'm not really huge on oud, but it does really well with this particular scent profile of the Hugo Boss with that apple, you know, that fruity oud here is just tremendously well blended and one that's definitely my favorite from the from the bottled collection, the Ugo Boss bottled. So check out my number nine spot, Ugo Boss Bottled Oud. The eighth spot here is a fragrance that has been featured and talked about on this channel tremendously well. I always talk about this fragrance. I actually made my Big Bang for Your Buck videos for a reason. It's extremely well priced. You can find this for like 30, 40 bucks for a 100 mil bottle. And the scent itself is just like a phenomenal niche fragrance that if it was by a big niche company, you would pay $150 to $200 easy for this fragrance. This is Bentley for Men Intense, a tremendous resinous patchouli incense, leather and cognac or, or boozy rum effect that you get with the introduction. Just a stellar fragrance. I absolutely love to rock this in the winter time. I really look forward to the winter time to wear this fragrance. It just shines tremendously in the cold weather. Just a great proposition overall, a fragrance that lasts for, for days. It's exotic, it's unique, and the price point is amazing. So all things considered, a great proposition here at the number eight spot, Bentley for Men Intense. At the seventh spot is a fragrance I've been talked about tremendously in the fragrance community by a brand that doesn't really get much play but it's definitely a great brand to check out. I think most of the problem here with this particular brand is that you can't really find it discounted, so that's why people don't really talk about it much. But it, to me, it's worth every penny. This is By the Fireplace from Mason Martin Margiela. This is like a cozy, warm, uh, really great and really awesome for this time of the year. When I think holidays, you know, if I did like a top favorite Christmas here, seasonal, uh, you know, holidays type scent, this would definitely make the top five. It's like the name implies, by the fireplace. It's going to be cinnamon, like roasted marshmallows. Think about, you know, uh, s'mores. That's what you get with this stuff. It's creamy. It's smooth. It's very inviting. It's a bit sensual, a little bit romantic. So, you know, if you're going for a first date, if you want something that's really inviting for the holidays, definitely consider checking this one out. It's probably going to be my, my scent of the day for this uh, Christmas uh, Eve 2019. So definitely one that I'm going to be rotating very much so this winter of 2019 designer edition. This is by the fireplace at the seventh spot. At the sixth spot is going to be actually my favorite from the Prada collection. I think this fragrance is just criminally underrated. You really need to check this out if you haven't. This is from the Prada Amber Collection. This is Prada Pour Homme Amber Intense. This is a chocolatey patchouli type scent. You guys know how much I love that chocolatey patchouli. Kind of like the patchouli that you get with Psychedelique from Javoy. That's what you get with this fragrance. It has a little bit of the, you know, an old school mature feel to the fragrance. When I have a hankering for a nice vetiver, you know, mossy green type scent, I go for this one. It also has that clean uh, character and profile that you get with Prada fragrances, along with a beautiful amber, 
and a tremendously well done chocolatey patchouli. Fantastic, got some spices here as well. Prada Amber Pour Homme Intense is amazing. It was hard to find for a while, but now it's kind of like easy to find again. I think it has been, uh, it was supposedly going to be discontinued, but I'm glad that Prada did not, you know, access this particular fragrance because it is a stellar fragrance. Definitely my favorite from the collection, guys. Check this out, the six spot, this stuff here is no joke. Prada Pour Homme Amber Intense. Hope you guys are enjoying my top 10 picks so far. And before I carry on with the top five, Guys, if you want to check any of these fragrances or any of the top seasonal videos that I talk about on this channel, you guys have to check out my partner. Head over to MyFragranceSamples.com and utilize my code MAX15. You guys can expect to get gift cards if you want to give somebody a gift card for the holidays. You can check out any of these fragrances individually, whether you want a 3 ml, 5 ml, a 10 ml decant. And of course, you can take advantage of the Max Packs, which will give you guys an overall discount on all 10 choices of any of these seasonal videos. You guys can, ch can choose, I think, a 5 ml or a 10 ml top 10 choices of each one of these top 10 seasonal videos. I'm gonna have the link below, guys. Utilize the Max 15 code and enjoy 15% off at checkout. You know all about my fragrance samples.com just the best place for fragrance sampling and decant. Mark Mobley, the owner, is my partner with Santa Explore, a stand-up guy as good as they come. Customer service second to none, fast shipping, and of course, free sample with every order. So enjoy, guys, all the details down in the description. Speaking of underrated fragrances, this particular one, my number five spot, and one that I absolutely adore when it comes to the winter time. I reach for this stuff like there's no tomorrow. When it comes to an underrated brand, Robert Graham is one of the most underrated in the fragrance community. No one really talks about this collection. They have three fragrances. This is called Fortitude, which is my favorite. And this is tobacco, leather, and patchouli laced to perfection with a little bit of tonka. This is sweet, it's creamy, it's resinous, it's inviting, it's appealing, and it's exotic, and it's extremely sensual and sexy. Guys, check out Fortitude if you haven't. If you like tobacco, leather, patchouli, a little bit of a boozy feel, Fortitude is no joke. This whole collection is amazing. You know, I've talked about immensely. Valor is amazing. Fortitude is incredible. And they have another one, which is a fresh that the name escapes my mind now, which is like a gin and tonic kind of, kind of fragrance that I love to wear in the spring and summer. But when it comes to winter, guys, Fortitude is definitely a great choice. If you haven't checked out, please do yourselves a favor and check this one. If this particular scent profile was put out by Tom Ford, this could have easily been a private blend that would fetch 200 plus. So check out Fortitude at my fifth spot. Some of you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of M7 by Yves Saint Laurent, you know, YSL M7. However, that fragrance is discontinued and very hard to find. It fetches a pretty penny. The next best thing to that fragrance, because it's really hard to find and very expensive, would be exactly that fragrance. M7 Oud Absolute from Yves Saint Laurent from the Signature Collection. This is Oud, it's resins, it's myrrh. It's just an outstanding fragrance ahead of its time when it was released first in 2002. Discontinued afterwards, but re-released, thankfully, in the Signature Collection, guys. Check this stuff out. If you like oud fragrances, again, I'm not huge on oud, but this stuff here is blended to perfection. A little bit of patchouli as well. So great for this time of the year. Very sensual, very elegant, very sophisticated. And great thing about M70 is you can find this stuff at discounters for an amazing price. Not only will I have all the details about this fragrances and the Max Pack, you know, from myfragrancesamples.com in, in the description below, but I'll also have each individual fragrance's links to the best prices of each individual fragrance. So M7, a great one for a great price. Definitely another great bang for your buck type of fragrance, if you will. As I said before, I'm not huge on oud. There's a couple oud fragrances here. There's the fruity, you know, easy to wear, very mass appealing, you know, boss bottled oud right here. You have M7 oud, which is a little bit darker with that mirror and sensey kind of a vibe. And now you have another mass appealing one at the third spot. This year, I've really been really getting into oud a little bit more, even though I'm not, not a huge fan of oud. I think for the winter time where I'm located, New England, New York area, because we get very brisk and cold winters, I think oud works a little bit better for me along those sides. You know, when it's winter, heavy winter, it's probably the only time that I'm really wearing uh, oud as far as, you know, in my rotation. So this particular one is Versace Oud Noir, which to me is the best fragrance when it comes to an oud fragrance from the designer uh, side of things. The stuff here compared to Boss Bottle Oud is going to be not as fruity and it's going to be a little bit more resinous and it reminds me of a spicier version of Tom Ford's Oud Oud. So if you like Oud Oud from Tom Ford but you want something a little bit spicier, definitely check this out. I think it goes toe to toe with that fragrance. Mass appealing, elegant, sophisticated, smells great. I think Versace Oud Noir is a great choice from the designer side of things and I think they did a fantastic job with this one. Definitely check it out. You can get this for a pretty good price. I think between 50 and 60 bucks for 100 mil and it's definitely worth every penny. It smells great. It's very elegant, very sophisticated, awesome for the winter season. At the number two spot, as you guys see with my choices, there's a very um, strong pattern here with boozy, oud, patchouli, resins, um, 
leather, tobacco, you know, th those are the kind of notes that I go for for the winter time. And this particular one is a tremendous fragrance that could have easily been my number one choice. This is from the house of Costume Nationale. And this fragrance is called Soul. And just like the name implies, it has a lot of soul. This is a boozy rom with incense, resins, spices, patchouli. A deep, dark, dirty patchouli, as good as it gets. If you guys are familiar with Larthur this after Mahakan from Tower Perfumes, this has a very strong resemblance with that fragrance. Hence the fact I love it for a cost, uh, for a fraction of the cost, you can get Soul from Costume National. You can find this at discounters. It is a fantastic fragrance for the winter time. I love the scent. As you see, I've worn a lot of this fragrance, which I solely wear in the winter time. So it tells a lot for guys that has over a thousand fragrances. I absolutely love this juice. This stuff here is like a, you know, a head turning fragrance. This is a fragrance that when you walk into a room, people are gonna turn their heads and ask you, man, what are you wearing? It is that good, guys. Check out my number two spot, Soul from Costume Nationale. Last but not least, my number one choice is a fragrance that needs no introduction from a fragrance house that needs no introduction. From Christian Dior, this is none other than Dior Own Parfum. This is taking that original iris, beautiful, gorgeous patchouli that we get with the original and adding a tremendous note of leather and spices. This stuff here, is as good as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it has that lipsticky iris vibe along with that dirty patchouli and that beautiful leather infusion. I absolutely love this fragrance. A little hard to find, but you can definitely find this stuff here in the US, even though this is more prominent to the uh, you know European market. You can definitely find this, and I highly suggest at least trying to decant this stuff. This is a magical juice that definitely I always love to wear when it comes to the winter time. Never lets me down. Compliments, made my top compliment to fragrances of all time. It is that good, guys. Dior on Parfum, number one spot for winter designers of 2019. This is your turn, ladies and gentlemen. Please let me know down in the comment section what is your top five or top 10 go-to winter designer fragrances that you're looking to wear this winter of 2019. Please drop your comments down in the comment section. And as you know, I'm gonna have all these fragrances linked below with the best prices as well as the max pack from the myfragrancesamples.com, my partner. If you guys wanna check any of these fragrances, all of them with the max pack, feel free to do that. With the code MAX15 that will give you guys 15% off at checkout. As always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thanks for everything. Don't forget to please like, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, enable the notification bell icon that way you'll never miss out future top videos just like this one, guys. As always, ladies and gentlemen, remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so wear what truly moves you. I'll see you again in the next one.